Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. Subject of this reveal, stacking panels in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, couple things to get out of the way uh, first. Thanks everyone for all your wonderful support. Holy smokes, I, I think we're finally taking off here at Video Revealed. We really do appreciate it. I've launched a Facebook uh, page, so if you want to, you can go right there and uh, go to that after the video and uh, have the conversation continue along there. We'd really appreciate it. So, what are stacked panels? Well, I'm using the latest version of Premiere Pro. I get a question a lot. Which version are you using? If you're wondering about what version, look at the published date of the, the YouTube video. And as of that date, I'm, having, I'm using the most current Creative Cloud version. So what are stacked panels? Well, Adobe is always trying to make complicated interfaces easier to use. And the perfect example of that is Adobe Lightroom. If you're not a Lightroom user, I want to show you something real quick. Let's go have a look. All right, this is Lightroom. It has panels on the side that when you click on them, they close and open another panel. It allows you to have an enormous amount of information on the right, but make it very easy to get to. Now, these are by default solo panels. If you right click in here, you can turn solo mode off and you can open these up. So that's an efficient workspace. Adobe is adopting that kind of methodology as an option. They're not forcing you to use that, but there is an option. The thing is, it's incredibly buried deep inside a bunch of menus. I wanna show you where it works. I wanna show you where it absolutely doesn't work. Let's have a look. Okay. So on the, uh, let's go to our editing section here and I'll turn on stack panels in this area here, which is primarily a horizontal view left to right. Um, and this is using the editing workspace. If you're not familiar with this little menu, these little lines in here, this little flyout menu, some people call this a hamburger menu. If you click inside here, you'll see panel group settings. If you have something earlier, this little menu is way over here on the right and you don't have this setting. But if you click in here in the newest version and go to panel group settings, there's a new feature in here called stacked panel groups. And below that, when you turn that on, you get to solo the panels. I'm gonna turn this on and you'll immediately see a change down here. And I'm gonna go back, notice that this menu is now over on the right hand side because these are full panels now. I'm gonna go turn on solo mode, notice it's on by default. And now when I click on one, it closes the other one. So I don't know if you'd like this, but uh, it does put everything into these panels. I don't think it makes as much sense in something that is uh, horizontal. That area of the menu is horizontal. What is vertical? Uh, the Lumetri color panel. Let's go have a look at that. So up here at the top, gonna go to my color settings. And on the right hand side, we've got the Lumetri color panel, which really is kind of working like that already. But if you turn on the stacked panel group, You'll notice that the panel is highlighted in blue and it's only open for what we're using. So when I open up curves, I'm only working on curves. Go to creative, go to basic. So again, no right and wrong in whether you want to use this. Oh, and by the way, uh, these settings are um, based on the workspace. So you could actually have a stacked panel group that looks a certain way for one workspace and a stack panel group for another workspace, um, which is pretty involved and pretty deep. Again, workspaces up at the top that you can use just by clicking on them. Now, another application that I think is uh, important to look at is After Effects. Over on the right-hand side, um, there's a bunch of panels that uh, show by default and a bunch of workspaces. If you can't see all your workspaces, mouse up to the top and you'll see a little line. And if you drag over to the left, you'll expose more of these workspaces. They may already be showing or they may be uh, turned off. If you go to the Essentials workspace, 
this is not set up as a stack panel group by default, but if you but if you turn this on to a stacked panel group and that stacked panel group is in solo, look at how much easier it is to get through all of these panels in After Effects. Boom, boom, boom. I am starting to like this. This is very useful for me. And you notice that when you click on it, it opens up. When you click on the same one, it closes up. When you click on a different one, it opens up. When you click on another one in solo mode, it opens up and shows that mode. Because for the longest time in After Effects, the default was to show you pretty much every freaking panel on the right-hand side. And a lot of users would just start closing the ones they didn't want. The only problem with that is you probably need one of those, so you're searching for it. Uh, but with stack panel groups, in some instances, for me, mostly uh, vertical uh, ways of working, I think it makes sense. It's a cool new thing. It's a new innovation that Adobe is giving you, remember, as an option. It's not forcing you to use these. Um, it's taking some of the intelligence from programs like Lightroom. All right. Well, I hope you find that informative. And thanks again, everyone, for all of your support. If you're new to Video Revealed, please take a moment and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best. Mm -hmm.